Hello everyone, this is Faisal. Welcome to Quality Thought and uh, today we are discussing about very important inspector and this is Salesforce inspector. You know Salesforce inspector is an inspector which inspects your data. Salesforce data will be monitored, uh, can be monitored, can be manipulated with the help of Salesforce inspector. Okay, let me show you how does uh, this exactly Salesforce inspector work. Okay, let me write it down for you people. Salesforce inspector and here you see to make a Salesforce inspector enable or to install the Salesforce inspector it is just okay, you have to go to your Google Chrome extensions. Okay, for example you please uh, focus here. All you have to do is typing Salesforce inspector for Chrome extension and again uh, depends on what uh, browser you are using. If you are using Edge, search for the Edge inspector or Microsoft extensions etc. Uh, if you are using Google or Chrome, search for the Chrome extensions. Okay. Now here you can see in this Salesforce inspector Chrome web store. Okay this chrome web store here this inspector uh, this is a tool called salesforce inspector which is actually i'm using okay now here it's just that k simple click to remove and simple click to add into your chrome extensions you see you just need to uh, do one click with one single click you it will be installed to your salesforce environment and here you see Yes, and this Salesforce inspector, if you go to your Salesforce org and here this arrow that you are seeing this arrow, you please focus, let me zoom in here. This arrow is actually your Salesforce inspector. You see when I click on it, yeah, that's your Salesforce inspector, right? And this Salesforce inspector will monitor your data, will uh, manipulate your data. For example, you see, uh, it will tell you what is your org limits, uh, what is your organization's limits and apart from that you see the data export, you see when I click on data export you can able to get your Salesforce data into your local system okay uh, or else uh, it can be portrayed as Salesforce object data as well as Salesforce deleted data both together you see here I'm just running a Salesforce default query that is select ID from account and I just need to click on export and that's it. You see within just seconds, within a second I got my data here, right? Now this is an actual count of 17 records, right? Now apart from that, you see this checkbox here. This checkbox includes deleted and archived records. Now all you have to do is check, uh, check this box and click on export right you see account is increased by one that means okay, I have one deleted record I can prove this to you by going to the Salesforce home you see and here we have something called recycle bin right right let's go to the recycle bin and here you see there is one deleted account yeah here there is something called iHub which is a deleted account. It is in the recycle bin that you can see, right? And here in Salesforce Inspector, let me go back to that, right? Export, right? If I check this box, I can, able, I can also able to get the data from an object and also from the recycle bin, okay? It's a great tool and to see and to experience all of its future uh, we are going to discuss this in our live sessions. Okay, uh, we are going to discuss each and every part of it. For example, we just discuss only about export queries. Now, uh, if I take you to back home, right? Apart from export, we have org limits. We also have data import. Okay, you see this data import here. From here, we can enter the data from external system to the Salesforce environment. Okay, so here we can able to insert, update, upsert, as well as delete. Okay, so how to perform these actions? Okay, how to you know 
use this format, Excel format or CSV format, okay, and how to import the data from your external system to your Salesforce environment, okay. This all will be taught in our live sessions, uh, right. For, for more information, please continue watching this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.